I've been mayor for 30 years, but I was born and raised here in Ben Salem. Positive change has been happening here for a long time, and uh, it's something I started many, many years ago. It was called Building a Better Ben Salem. And out of that has come committees that work on everything, from policing to diversity. Uh, we have a, the largest police force in all of Fox County, Director McVeigh, and uh, to all of his men and women here in the township do an incredible job uh, reaching out to the community all the time and working with them to make sure that our community is safe. The Ben Salem Police Department is a leader in law enforcement in the state of Pennsylvania. We are accredited through PLEAC in the state and we are accredited through CALEA nationally. We have over 100 sworn officers and we are out there every single day with our mission to protect and serve the citizens of Ben Salem. Over the past 30 years, we've built tremendous bridges with our community. We work with our community every day. Uh, an example of that is just our police hiring. We work with members of the community, the NAACP in particular, where they work with a sergeant and a lieutenant, a member of our command, to interview potential applicants. So our community seeing that we engage and bring them in to our hiring process gives them buy-in to this department. They listen to the people on what we're doing in hiring at the Ben Salem Police Department because a police officer might see a police officer. I'm looking at a person. When they come in for an interview as a civilian on their board, we want the very best because I want personally, I wouldn't mind getting stopped by this police officer. If I had a problem at home, I don't mind this police officer coming to my house. And I want to be able that person to be, like I said, professional, courteous, approachable, and the very best of the best. Ben Salem Police Department has several outreach programs to build the trust and relationships with the community. We have a fall festival here where they can get to meet the police officers one-on-one. -on -one. We have a canine demo, a thrill show for the motorcycle cops. It gives us an opportunity for them to see us in a different light and know is that we have their best interest. We have a, a PAL program that's unique. We're the only one in our county that has approximately 900 kids all year round. So we're constantly interacting with the youth, which is vital in today's society. One of the biggest pluses that I have seen is watching kids that went through our program become police officers right here in Ben Salem Township, wanting to give back to the community. And to me, that's something special. If I wasn't a participant in the Police Athletic League program here in Ben Salem, I do not think I would have been a police officer. The impact that showing a humane side of policing along with coaching and from a kid's perspective that was a completely different view of policing to me. Um, I was able to steer away from being out in the streets all the time or doing other things that I shouldn't have done but yet I focused that on playing basketball and being around the right group of people and seeing officers there as well that also made me want to behave in a better manner and you know talking to them and seeing like hey they're human too so I saw that there was a different avenue of living and there is a different way of approaching life through that program. We have three SROs that are very heavily involved with PAL. There are school resource officers. So it's great for the thousand youths that we have participating in our program, get a chance to know these three SROs in case they're getting bullied or harassed. And we see everything that happens in the schools with these school shootings, that they're not afraid to approach the police officer because they don't just look at him as a cop, they look at him as a friend, as a mentor. So to me, it's key to build those relationships. In Ben Salem Township, we believe nothing will ever replace the police officer on the street. However, we are using state-of-the-art technologies to assist our police officers and detectives and on the street to help deter crime and solve crime. In 2017, we were the first police department in the entire country to put a rapid DNA instrument right within the police department that was available 24-7, 365 days a year. Now we can collect DNA from a scene. We can put it in our rapid instrument. In 90 minutes, we can take the DNA profile from that crime scene, upload it into our local database, and actually react to any DNA hits that we may get from that rapid instrument. Another one of our technologies is a real-time crime center. 
This integrates all of our technologies and brings it all into one location that every police officer can access on the laptops in their cars or on their cell phones. We have 65 intersections in Bensound Township that have cameras located on them. We have cameras in businesses where our police officer can bring up a live feed inside of that business before they even get to the scene to help them respond better. This real-time crime center also integrates license plate readers within every vehicle that our patrol officers drive. So the technology aspect has become such a huge part of what we do here in Ben Salem Township because our crime rates are lower than any town around us. We are solving more crime once they occur, and I believe we're preventing a lot of crime as well. So we always have to continue to keep that bridge between us and the community strong and find new and innovative ways to bring our community in with us. They deserve officers who can respond to their needs, but who also proactively go out and keep them safe. And by doing so, remove guns from the street, remove criminals from the street, before they have a chance to commit their criminal ways in our township. The trust issue is to be transparent, okay, and to be consistent. Integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. And that's what they're doing, and that's what the community sees. The passion I have is to make sure that we continue to keep the people uh, not just safe, but to give them all the ability to enjoy what we have here in this great town. A lot of open space, a lot of sports today, and uh, it's been an incredible change. And I don't know of any other profession that can have quite the impact that a law enforcement officer can have on an individual level and on a community level. So Robert Peel said many years ago, the police are the public and the public are the police. That statement alone sums up our relationship with our community, and we always have to foster that and build upon it.